Okay, welcome. Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming out in your hopes and your blushes and swimming on over to the Senior Center. We're glad to see you all here, and we have a great night for you. I'm Susan Lance, and I'm a community volunteer. And since I have this title of solar coach, I get to stand up here. But I'm really part of a team, and all these yellow shirts around the room are community dedicated uh, volunteers who are committed to making sure that everybody in our city knows about Solarize Northampton. So I just want to give them a hand. Our guests have uh, committed to staying until all the questions are answered, so don't worry about time. Um, time for that. <clears throat> and it's my pleasure to introduce another arm of the Solarized Mass, and it's the state. And I, uh, it's my pleasure to introduce Elizabeth Youngblood, who is the project manager for the solar programs at the Massachusetts Center for Clean Energy. And along with the Department of Energy Resources, they have created and they monitor and maintain the Solarized Mass program. And Elizabeth is going to give us a, a brief overview of the program and its goals. So let's welcome Elizabeth. Thank you very much, Susan. And thank, thank you, Chris Mason, and thank you everybody for coming out here tonight. I know that it was uh, definitely very rainy. Uh, on my trip out from Boston, I was uh, uh, definitely uh, enjoying the giant swaths of water going by me as I was uh, speeding along. So, but I'm very excited to be here tonight. Um, as Susan said, my name is Elizabeth Youngblood, and I am the project manager for the Solarize Massachusetts program. Um, a number of years ago also, I was uh, a student at Mount Holyoke College, so I know this area uh, very well, and I'm incredibly excited uh, that Northampton has decided to partner with us to do this program this summer. Uh, and something to be aware of here, if you actually, if you look at that kind of dark purple thing there, that's actually Germany, and it has less solar resource than our darkest places in the United States, including Alaska, down there, and they are one of the countries that install the most solar um, electricity in the world, so if they can really make it work, then we can as well. Uh, I'm Chris Mason. I'm the Energy and Sustainability Officer for the City of Northampton. And um, just want to say, uh, introducing Real Good Solar, uh, that the city was fortunate to have uh, five really good proposals to look at, very good companies. And Real Good Solar largely was chosen because it provided uh, a array of options, flexibility, uh, economic options that we felt were going to enable this program to reach out to people who never would have considered solar before. So if you have neighbors who thought, yeah, that's not for me, um, you know, I'm not the green person or I don't have enough money, talk to them because the options at Real Good Solar uh, were very, very attractive in many ways, both with the type of technology that they're providing, the flexibility, the technology, um, and their pricing structure. So with no more to do, I'm gonna introduce Jim with Real Good Solar who will walk you through their program in detail. Thank you for that. Um, what I'd like to do tonight is go through um, a lot of what Elizabeth has already talked about um, in, in general terms and really kind of dive into the specifics. As far as our local uh, history, uh, we have over 650 uh, residential installs in Massachusetts. We have 200 installs in the Pioneer Valley. And I'm going to show you a map in a second here. Uh, and 25 Massachusetts employees as well. He wants to know if you have the system installed, how do you know it's working all the time? Really good question. So the system comes uh, with monitoring. Okay. Uh, for PPAs, I will explain to you that our, PP, our PPA providers are on top of it more than you because they've already paid for the system. And the only way they're going to get recoup their investment is if they can invoice. So they're on. But it's also, I want to. Um, 
You want to own the data acquisition system? How do I know when it's time to call you and say, hey, you can, you can, you can go online. You'll see, you, when you give your pros, we give you an kind of estimated monthly production. If you see it not meeting that graph, there might be something like going how? on. Now, I live in a condo unit with a giant flat roof on South Street. Do you have something where you can present to manage, like, uh, have something to present to management? To, to put solar panels over the whole roof, yeah. and uh, I mean I don't know how it would be structured, yeah. but um, do we get lunch? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll stay and talk. Anybody wants to talk? So. Have the installers back there. They're the guys that know. I think we have a tremendous story, uh, and I think we have a very compelling offer, and I hope you guys all feel the same way when we're done here. <laughs>